Corporation. It's a mixed quarter for the company. While they registered a strong revenue growth, we've uh, seen a big revenue growth for the company come by this time around. The margins saw a sharp fall, and that's the reason why the stock is lower by about a percent and a half as well. The profits, on the other hand, were aided by an exceptional. We have with us uh, the management of the company joining us uh, now, and uh, it we have Sanjay Kumar, who's the CMD of the company. Thanks a lot, Mr. Kumar, for joining in. Um, you know, first up, can you explain the sharp drop that we've seen in the margins? Consolidated margins, they've come in at 14% versus 20.7%, and this is more pronounced in the telecom segment. What can you guide for in terms of margin improvement going forward? So, uh, uh, one thing I would like to uh, share, that last year we had an exceptional item in our accounts, so mm -hmm. that is that is uh, uh, one of the uh, element responsible for this uh, sharp decline you have seen. Otherwise, we have been uh, we were anticipated anticipating this kind of results because of our project business, which are which we are working with lower margins in comparison to telecom margins. So okay. that is one uh, uh, factor which I see. The other factor would be the. Uh, lower margin and the other uh, one is the last year exceptional item and third one is of course there is increasing competition in project business uh, but it, that's visible in the project business margins which have now come in at just about four odd percent so because of increasing competition are you trying to say that there could be uh, you know further pressure in the project business margins and on an average what do you think the uh, growth rate could look like as well as on the margins particularly for the project business so project business, we are already working, I think, at the lowest, but uh, I don't see uh, that uh, this margin we are targeting. So certainly we'll have to reorient our, uh, maybe fine tune our studies so that we don't go further below. Uh, maybe we uh, don't take such orders where margins are lower or competition we have to see uh, because uh, uh, ultimately it is the, uh, 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 bottom line which matters for the equity holders. So Kumar, are you actively doing that? Are you trying to take orders within the project segment which would prop possibly be at higher margins? Are you avoiding bidding for those lower margin projects? Is that actively taking place? See, naturally, we have to study the project business which is which where we are bidding, we are going to bid. So this is normally uh, what projects we take. Uh, uh, sometimes they are purely uh, non-telco IT projects. Sometimes they are projects which have elements of uh, telecom, data center, and IT element in it. So we naturally would like to have such projects if, if they are already in the market, uh, which have all the three elements so that we have an edge in margin, uh, in increasing margin, because that will come from telecom side. So of course that will be our priority, but then uh, there will be uh, one bar with, below which we will not uh, take any project, uh, just for taking uh, the project for the sake. We'll talk about that bar and uh, you know the outlook that you have uh, for this year in just a bit, but. You said that there was a fair amount of competition and understandably perhaps because the railway has opened the infrastructure uh, sharing to private players as a result of which margins have uh, compressed in the industry itself. But the bigger thing is that, uh, you know, you pay 7% royalty as uh, uh, of your overall revenue to the railways and now that they've opened it up to other players as well, you are discussing with the railways on that uh, renegotiation of, of the 7% royalty that you pay. Can you give us a sense of what those discussions have uh, been so far? And is there a chance that this would be reduced? So let me first clarify uh, one uh, fact which you have mentioned, that uh, railways have uh, stopped giving works on nomination. So let me tell you that uh, only 13 to 14% is the revenue which we are earning from railways. Remaining revenues is either coming from uh, private or retail uh, business or the other non-railway government entities. So that is one. Second part which you talked about is 7% royalty which we are saying to the, uh, pay, paying to the railways. So there are many elements. It's not only right of way. And of course, it will take some time. Uh, we have started preparing. I'm not aware to what extent because 
see uh, right of way giving uh, making non exclusive did not affect our business to any extent i would say there is no effect of opening the right of way on our business so this is and whatever gains we get out of this discussion with railways will certainly uh, benefit railtel uh, because earlier we were paying 7% even if we get some advantage out of so those discussions are still in primary stage uh, first we are discussing internally and then we will take up with the ministry of railway so i will not comment upon this uh, i think this would be too premature to comment on that okay on the telecom services business just wanted to come back to that earlier there was a time when you had about you know 25 28% margins as well uh, is there any scope to return to that anytime soon and what would the ballpark number be in terms of margins and growth particularly for telecom say in fy24 and 25 so telecom business yes uh, we had uh, previous years we had constraints on our capacities now we have upgraded our capacities from 800 uh, gigabit to 8 terabyte capacity and we will have uh, capacities available for offering to the customers there were delays last year so telecom business there was a reason for uh, 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 growth which is we were not expecting this much now i am sure that this year onwards we will be gaining momentum and in the years to come certainly we will focus on telecom business as well okay so and uh, uh, as far as margin is concerned telecom business is also under pressure have been pressure there from uh, previous years as well uh, but there not be i won't say i don't see that there's going to be any big gains on the abita side but still we will continue to maintain at least the present uh, percentage and maybe there may be some slight improvement okay well you know i'm not going to hold you on to any numbers but just based on what you've achieved in this year it's around a 25% growth on a year on year basis uh, do you think that you could probably replicate that get closer to around 2500 crores in fy24 when it comes to your revenue and comfortably get past 200 crores when it comes to profit something which has dipped year on year not your revenue but your profit uh i think whatever you said is going to be there we are going to achieve that those numbers 2500 in terms of revenues i don't see any challenge and uh, profit also i don't see any challenge in crossing 200 and you know just on the margin front you said that <clears throat> while there might not be a significant improvement you'll hold on to the margins at current levels what do you mean when you say current levels because fourth quarter margins were 14% uh full year basis the margins were around 19% and the reason why i ask you this is because a couple of years ago your margins were closer to 30% you used to guide for you know 28 to 30% band in the telecom business that fell to around 25 to 30% that fell to 20 to 25% now that's sub 20% telecom margin i think is around 33% 33% this year so there was a little dip in telecom margin mm-hmm. but majority it has come down because of project business especially in okay. q4 because q4 was project heavy we deliver, uh, we have a more revenues from project so that may be the reason that 14% you see in q4 but overall we have been there in uh, 20% 20% close to 20% So around twenty percent is a reasonable thing that we should be looking at, right? Yes, that that will be the guidance for the coming year, coming quarters. Okay, can you just give no, us an updated figure? Uh, sure. Can you give us an updated figure on the order book? Five uh, thousand crores, I think, was what you ended Q three with. What is it right now? And what's the order visibility like over the next twelve to eighteen months? So this, at the moment, we have around forty five hundred plus crores order book with us. and i believe we will be receiving another minimum 1500 or maybe more orders in the coming uh this this year present at least okay all right so we're going to leave you on that note uh, thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us so real tell doesn't get that much in terms of uh, revenue from the railways anymore so maybe they should probably even contemplate a name change <laughs> but nonetheless that's on real tell